सिस्टमैटिक ट्रांसफर प्लान और ऑल्सो नोन एज एस टी पी इज लाइक अ यंग ब्रदर ऑफ एस आई पी राइट बेसिकली इट मीन्स दैट यू कैन सिस्टमैटिकली ट्रांसफर फंड फ्रॉम वन म्यूचुअल फंड स्कीम टू दी अदर म्यूचुअल फंड स्कीम ऑफ द सेम फंड हाउस दिस इज यूजली यूजफुल फॉर पीपल यू नो हु आर earning as a freelancer or a professional basically when you earn once in a while huge amount of money so you can put that into a liquid mutual fund and transfer it to equity periodically so that you don't get exposed to the lump sum investing risk of equity stp is also used you know when you are approaching your goal and your long term goal has become short term goal so now you are systematically transferring from an equity fund to a debt fund to reduce the risk of the investments that are made these are just some examples of stp and we generally recommend stps to people when they are in these particular situations so if you are a diy investor or you want to know how you can set up stps using cams then do watch this video as we are explaining it step by step So let's get started on how to do a systematic transfer plan using CAMS. So for the ones who are for the first time on this platform, then how to create your login on CAMS? You can do it from here. CAMS help you to see all your mutual fund investments which are linked to your email ID, irrespective of whichever platform, app, agent, software you use to invest in CAMS. Right, and for the ones who are with me uh, and have been watching these videos for a while, so let's just dive into this platform. Right, so um, everything that you want to transact is on the left hand side of the screen. So we click on the transact button, and then we click on systematic transfer plan. Uh, please note that systematic transfer plan is within the same fund. So say HDFC fund or Kotak fund, you are transferring within two different schemes. so i can probably do a debt to equity within equity or equity to debt so first i have to select the amc right uh, so i am selecting hdfc mutual fund and then i am selecting my own folio number right and then i am selecting the scheme from which i want to transfer out right so this is my base scheme so i'm selecting a debt fund so basically i want to transfer out from the debt fund and monthly invest into the equity fund so basically because the market is a little volatile my risk profile um, is not very aggressive so i don't want to invest lump sum into equity right now i'm more comfortable doing it in this manner so i have invested lump sum into floating rate debt fund and i'm investing from it monthly out right so scheme type i select i select a growth scheme type i really don't uh, prefer idcw idcw is nothing but the dividend option that we had uh, it's basically you know the dividends are paid out from the scheme to you and a lot of people think that they are basically profits from the scheme but it's not it's profits or capital which doesn't serve purpose for me right i want the money to be uh, moving from a debt fund into an equity fund i don't i and i want that equity fund to grow right i don't want to remove profits from that equity fund for my bank account i mean i am still at a young age where i'm earning regularly so my income is enough to take care uh, for my expenses i don't want to withdraw money from my investments for that this category that i select is equity and then i select a target scheme in which i want the money to go so the equity fund that i've selected is a large and mid cap fund now uh, if there's an ri who's helping you do that right you can put in their details i want this to happen once a month right again you can see the dates on which it can happen so i want it to happen on the first of the month i want it to get started from the 1st of august and um, you know i want to run it for the next 6 months in the next 6 months i would have clarity on how the markets are doing and then probably i can take a decision at that point of time right and i want 10000 rupees going from my debt fund to this equity fund so i know that i have 2 lakh rupees in the debt fund so right now i'm doing six installments of 10000 rupees each which is basically 60000 rupees also there is money uh, that if i need i can use it from the debt fund right so it's taking care of my needs i select on terms and conditions and i submit as we said even your systematic transfer plan is a sell 
or a redeemed transaction because you are selling from the debt fund and investing in equity fund there will be taxes and exit load as applicable so we select continue recheck all the details here so i can see floating rate uh fund to equity large cap and mid cap fund idcw option is not available i want it to happen once a month for the next 6 months 10000 rupees and i click on submit i will get my otp here and when i submit the otp the transaction will go through and from the 1st august the money will start getting transferred and the money will go from my debt fund to equity fund So we hope that this STP process you would use to understand better about the market. If you are a little risk averse and don't want to invest lump sum in equity, then this is a good fund. Or if you feel that equity is overvalued and want to start booking your profits on a regular basis, then you can do that as well. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. So just don't go setting up STPs unnecessarily. Stick to your asset allocation, and when you are a beginner investor, SIPs are something which is more useful to you than STPs. You can check the article in the link in the description to understand more about STPs and how it can be useful to you. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel and watch out this space every Wednesdays and Saturdays for freshly brewed content only from Wealth Cafe.